Welcome to the Firepower Proof of Value installation series. In this module, I'm going to walk you through how to add the ASA running Firepower to a Firepower management system. Please note, there are a couple options for this. Option one is to use dCloud to manage a local ASA running Firepower. Option two is to locally install the Firepower Manager VM at the customer location and use that for management. A third option is obtaining Firepower hardware. In this example, I will be using a virtual Firepower Manager running 6.0.1. I have created a blog post at thesecurityblogger.com that has a short explanation of how to set up the Firepower Manager on EXI. You can also see documentation as the installation is very straightforward. The first step to add your ASA with Firepower is to log into your system. Next, you're going to want to go to System, Licenses, and click that to see what license options you have. There are two license options. There's the old traditional licenses and the new smart licenses. In my example here, I am using the smart licenses because the unified image requires that, which I showed in a previous video. The separate ASA Firepower image can use either model, however, it is recommended to use the smart licenses. In my use case, when I was prompted for this page, I selected smart licenses and it gave me a 90 day trial license. This part here shows I have 54 days left to try out this particular system with the smart license. So for your proof of value, using the smart license system is as simple as clicking smart license trial and you will be given 90 days without having to contact Cisco to do your evaluation. Anything after 90 days will require you to talk to your Cisco support rep. Once you enable smart licenses, the next step is to add your device under device and device management. In this screen, I show my 5506 with the unified image that I added in a previous video. However, it's shut off right now. To add my new device, I click the add button and add device. I will see a prompt asking for a few things. Before doing this, I need to go back to my ASA with Firepower and set up the management and registration key before moving forward. Going back to my ASA with Firepower, I will log in with Session, Sourcefire, Console, and use my login. Because this is a new installation, as I showed in a previous video, I must go through the, the EULA statement. So I can press Enter over and over again, or Spacebar, until the agreement finishes. After about a decade, you will get to the end of the EULA statement, where I will type Yes. I will be asked for a new password, confirm the new password, and now I will set up my system using the real IP information. So this time around, I will use IPv4. However, I will use manual because I'm going to permanently set the IP address. I will go with my lab IP, a class C network, default gateway. I will leave firepower for my qualified domain. I'll put in my DNS, which happens to be open DNS. Leave the search domain default, and that's it. After a few moments, it will build the new policies because it's a new configuration and I'll be ready to add my Firepower Manager. Once the initial setup is complete, I will now add the manager. The command is configure manager add the IP address of my manager and any word I want to use. In this case, I will use go caps hoping the capitals could win the Stanley Cup. I hit enter and now the Firepower part of my ASA is ready to be added to the manager. At this point, I can go back to the GUI to add this system. Once again, I'll click Add, Add Device, put in the IP address of the Firepower Services, which I just configured, give it a display name, we'll go 5512, not unified. Since it's not the unified image, my key, go caps, I'll leave the group as none, and select a policy I've created in the past. This, you can just create a new one or go with this. Doesn't matter at this point. 
And because I'm using smart licensing, I have 54 days left to use these licenses. I'll click register, and a few moments later, my 5512 should be added. Once the process completes, my 5512 is now added. There will be some pop-ups, the pre-configuration and so on, but eventually you'll see here, I have a green light showcasing I have successfully added my 5512. Now as stated before, I'm running 6.0.0, however I want to run 6.0.1 like with my 5506. To upgrade, I go to System, Updates. This will bring me to the update page, showing my manager is running 6.0.1. If I click Download Updates, this will download the latest software updates for both my manager and any SourceFire appliances that are managed. What I'm looking for is the SourceFire 3D Defense Center, which is my manager, and the sensor patch. My manager, using the old terminology Defense Center, because now it's called Firepower Manager, as shown up here, is already running 6.0.1. However, I want to upgrade my sensor. I click the package. It shows me there's one option, the ASA 5512 running 6.0.0. I select that and I select install. Yes, I'm sure, and it's okay to reboot. And this will eventually kick off the upgrade process. At this point, if I want to monitor the status under task notifications here at the message center, I can click that and this will show the status of the installation. I also will see a clock to the right telling me how long it's been running. Let's fast forward to when the script completes and the system is rebooting after the upgrade. About 50 minutes later, as you can see, the installation is completed. To verify, I can go to Devices, Device Management. Now you can see my 5512 is running 6.0.1. At this point, I'm ready to set up my POV configuration. 